Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, before I start real quick there, uh, my backup channel is back in business. I recently transformed it into an e-fed page there. <laughs> but um, I'm done with that psycho bullshit, that weirdo goddamn bullshit. <laughs> And my backup page is back up and running there. I made a video on it this morning. Links in the description. Fuck the E-Feds. We're back in the backup channel business. So, links in the description. I might do vids on it later this weekend or something. Now, finally the wrestling news came in there. About the ratings, it took a couple days to come in. Raw got a 2.19 rating. Um, lowest rating of the year for 2016. And it was a fucking bad show. The only reason that it wasn't lower than that is probably because of Cena and AJ Styles. People were probably, you know, they kept watching just to see Cena. If Cena would have appeared in the beginning, ratings probably would have crashed way lower than that there. But, you know, the show was 90% garbage. You had, fuck, I don't remember there, six, seven matches. Like five of those matches were a minute long. A minute long, and they were bad. They were fucking cheap. You had the main event, just a simple six-man tag that didn't mean fuck all. You had a tag team match, Big Cass and Enzo against the Dudleys, which was just a plain boring match. The rest of the matches were fucking squash matches. Two or three of those squash matches ended in disqualification. Just a big pile of fucking garbage. Golden truth. Shit like this. It was packed with garbage comedy. Like New Day shit like this. You tune in to Raw to see a show with action. You see the New Day doing boring comedy. Shane McMahon showing off his shoes or whatever the fuck he was doing. How do they expect people to tune in? How do they expect to maintain an audience when the show is complete fucking garbage? It's like if they were being bad on purpose this week. Oh, it's Memorial Day in the States. Fuck it, let's have a bunch of squash matches that don't mean fuck all. And what did they get for that? Lowest rating of the year, boy, and they deserve to get even lower. You know, if it wasn't for Cena, they might have got that 1.9 rating or something. But keep it up, WWE. Keep up the garbage product. And that 1.9 is going to be a coming, boy. It's going to be a coming. Until next time, peace.